Boulder Arts Week is just under two weeks away, and this brings together uh, a lot of great things in the Boulder area. Uh, filmmakers, musicians, a number of various artists all coming here to Colorado. So joining us now to, more, uh, to speak more about us uh, this week is Lauren Click. She's with the Office of Arts and Culture. And then we've got Sean Patrick, who's here, a member of the band Orbiting Olympia. Thank you guys for coming in. We sure appreciate it. Uh, and uh, typically when I see a synthesizer, <laughs> I think it's got 88 keys at least. Oh, yeah. But uh, they've got a lot of stuff going on here. So uh, we're going to get a preview of this from Sean coming up here in just a little bit. But first I want to ask you, why are events like this important? Well, um, weeks like this, celebrations, are vital. We benefit from the arts every day. Yeah. And it makes our communities really vital and interesting. And um, this sort of celebration is important. So we call out the artists and we recognize them and celebrate them and support them. And the best way to support the arts is to go see events, to buy tickets, to buy art, to um, Follow them on social media. Tell them, go tell them that you like their artwork. I, uh, th th this is so neat, and I love the old <laughs> telephone. How nostalgic your necklace is really cool. This is by a local artist. Uh, that's awesome. So yeah. what makes Boulder Art Week so unique? Well, Boulder has the third highest uh, number of people, number of artists per capita in the United States. Wow. Our Boulder Arts Week has over 300 events and counting, so you will find something for everybody. You and your family could take a pottery class or a printmaking class. You could try samba or uh, belly dancing. Whoa. You, <laughs> you don't want to see me try that. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you a ticket. Okay. <laughs> you could... Um, you could hear a fashion designer talk about their process or see exhibitions in very, very unique spaces like a hair salon or even a mortuary. Mm. This is interesting. <laughs> so we have Bolter Arts Week that runs from March 30th to April 7th. For more information on how you can attend and uh, get information, you can go to cbsdenver.com right there. All right, so uh, we want to hear some of this belly dancing music for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so no you've got a phone set up here. <laughs> yep. You've got so explain some of this to us, and then and then we'll listen to it as we head to break. Okay, so this is a telephone synthesizer that I have created. <laughs> um, it's a vessel because I'm a sculptor, so it houses electronics, so I can create tones from this. Um, and it's in, like a, cool. from the '60s, so the aesthetic quality kind of kind of fits in with vintage synthesizer. Yeah. All right, so, so let's see this here. Yeah. Play some of this. All right. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> you explore different frequencies. It's more on the ambient side. Yeah, that's cool. So this is some of the stuff that you can see at Boulder Arts Week. Thank you guys so much for coming. Sure, in. it's our pleasure. It. Thank you for having us. We'll be right back.